Today is day 5,071 of the running streak, 5,071 days in a row. I had to jump in the car after running six miles today because it's so windy that you can't hear anything on the phone and you wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to make a video. So it's two days after I had my workout and my legs weren't sore. If you ever finish a workout and the next day your legs are sore, you know you did it wrong because you're not supposed to be sore after a workout. Soreness is actual damage to the muscle. So you're trying to train your muscles, you're not trying to damage them permanently. So if you damage your muscles, you get soreness, which are little micro tears in the muscle. And all it does is put you, set you back in your training because you have to wait to recover, to heal first, and then the muscle recovers, and then you can start the training effect on the muscle and getting better. So whether you're weightlifting or running, if you do a workout and the next day you're sore, you did it wrong. So today's 29 degrees, freezing cold. Ran up to Rutgers today to run in the woods. They have nice woods to run in over there. So I'm running up the street and I do have more spring in my step because I did a workout. You just feel better. You feel, your legs feel looser. You feel like you have a little more spring in your step. By the way, if somebody says you have spring in your step, it's a good thing. But if they tell you you're light in the loafers, that's a bad thing. So just remember that. So I'm running up and I'm running along and I see, as I often do, some of the uh, Rutgers um, cross-country runners. Sometimes they run around the neighborhood and they're always wearing their Rutger gear. I assume they're the cross-country team. I don't know who else they would be. The badminton team, maybe. So I was like, oh, well, I'm going to see if I can catch up to them and start seeing what kind of pace they run. So I see them up ahead, and they're probably, you know, 150 meters ahead. So I said, I'm going to start catching up to them. And then, so I'm running, I'm running, I'm like, I'm not catching up to them. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They're in college, and I'm an old man. No way I'm going to catch up to them. So and then I went back to my regular pace. That's another reason why I like to always run by myself, because I could vary the pace if I want or speed up a little on a hill or you know, slow down and look at something I see interesting along the side of the road or whatever. So I always run alone, except for that one person that I do run with. So you know who you are, Michelle. So you're pretty special if, if I run with you because I don't like running with other people. All right, that's the next, the end of this video. The next video, probably I'll do another video on the stuff I found on the side of the road because everybody likes those.